On the 4th of November, we celebrate St. Charles Borromeo. St. Charles Borromeo was born on October 2nd, 1538, at the castle of Arona on Lake Maggio near Milan. His father was the Count of Arona and his mother a member of the House of Medici. He was the third of six children born to the couple. At the age of 12, the young Count Charles Borromeo dedicated himself to a life of service to the church. His uncle gave to him the family income from Benedictine Abbey of St. Gratian and Felinus. Even as a youth, his integrity was obvious. He was explicit in telling his father that he would only keep the money required for his education and to prepare him for service to the church. All other funds belonged to the poor of the church and were to be passed along to them. The young count suffered from a speech impediment and made him appear slow to those who did not know him. Despite his challenge, he performed well and impressed his teachers. He attended the University of Pavia and learned Latin. He was praised because he was hardworking and thorough. Life sped up for the young count after his uncle Cardinal Giovanni Angelo Medici became the Pope Pius IV on December 25, 1559. The new Pope asked his nephew to come to Rome and appointed him as Cardinal Deacon. With the rank came the job of assisting and advising his uncle full-time. A month later, Pope Pius IV made his nephew a Cardinal. The young Borromeo used his leadership role in the Vatican to promote learning and establish a literary academy. He wrote of some of the lessons and lectures in the book Nocte Vaticane. Borromeo was appointed administrator of the, of the Archdiocese of Milan in 1560, since he would become the ecclesial administrator of Milan. He decided that the Lord was calling him to the priesthood. In 1561, he founded a college at Pavia dedicated to St. Justina of Padua. In 1562, his brother died. His family urged him to leave the service of the church to preserve the family's name. However, Borromeo refused. He became more insistent upon becoming a good bishop and in compelling others to lead exemplary lives of clerical service. Borromeo was ordained first to the order of deacon. Then he was ordained to the holy priesthood on September 4, 1563. Then he was ordained as a bishop on 7 December 1563. He became archbishop of Milan in May 12, 1564. In 1566, Archbishop Borromeo Benefactors and uncle, Pope Pius IV, died. Borromeo had already developed a reputation as a young idealistic reformer in Rome, and he continued that mission in Milan. The driving out of corruption was a critical matter during Borromeo's time. The Protestant Reformation was spreading through North Europe and constantly threatening to move south. The greatest defense against Protestant doctrinal error and claims against the hierarchy hierarchy of the Catholic Church was reform and restoration of integrity to the Catholic Church. Archbishop Borromeo saw this clearly and he made this his mission. His strategy was to provide education to many clergy he saw as ignorant. He founded schools and seminaries and colleges for clergy. He also ended the selling of indulgences a form of simony. He made a lot of visits to various locations to inspect for himself. He ordered the simplification of church interiors, which was a major point of contention between some Catholics and Protestants. His work of cleaning up the church also made him enemy. On one occasion, a member of the small, decrepit order, known as the Humiliati, attempted to assassinate him with a pistol but missed. Charles Borromeo was beatified on May the 12th in 1602. Eventually, the, the archbishop life of work and toil began to take its toll. In 1584, he became ill with a fever. 
he returned to Milan where his condition worsened. When it became obvious he would die, he was given the last sacrament. He died on November the 3rd at the age of 46. He was beatified on May 12, 1602 by Pope Paul V. He was subsequently canonized by Pope Paul V on November 1, 1610. St. Charles Borromeo's feast is celebrated on November 4th. He is the patron of bishops, catechists, Lombardy, Italy, Monterey, California, cardinals, seminarians, spiritual leaders, and São Carlos in Brazil. St. Charles Borromeo has a beautiful shrine in the Milan Cathedral and is often depicted in the art wearing his robes, barefoot carrying the cross with a rope around his neck and his arms raised in blessing.